What's up everyone? It's Miracle Worker here with another weekly roundup. Can't be more happy to be back. Huge gaming news, I hope. I don't know how all of you guys are going to feel about it. But I'm pretty happy. Skyrim's 10th anniversary teaser kind of came out. And they're going to drop another game. It's the same game, but with fishing. I don't know how I feel about that. But it's going to be compatible with all of the new consoles. And hopefully they make the most of Skyrim. Um, I, I honestly can't wait to pick up the game again. I'm, I really am going to buy it. I don't know why I'm going to waste my 60 or potentially $70 on it, but I just can't wait. Um, hopefully the fishing's worth it. Um, and, and honestly, this is my biggest thing. I can't wait to download the mods again. I can't wait to have some more fun with that just because that was always my favorite part of Skyrim when it first came out, or at least when we could download the mod packs. So I truthfully can't wait 10 years in the making, I guess, for all of this, but you know, we'll see how it does. Next, we have Call of Duty Vanguard. I don't really know how I feel about this. We're going back to World War II, and for some, maybe we're gonna have a little nostalgia. Maybe we're gonna have some of those, those great firefights that we you know saw in past CODs, but for me, I just think they're pushing out these games too soon. Um, is Vanguard going to make the difference? How's it going to correlate to Warzone? You know, I just, I just really don't know. There's so many variables. So I think this one's hard for me to get on board with. I can't wait to see more of what comes from it. But is this, you know, Activision's way of saying, yeah, I think we're lost this year. I don't think we have anything to confute compete with battlefield so we'll just throw out this um that's kind of the vibe i'm getting because it doesn't look like anything great's coming to vanguard but i hope i can be proven wrong i truthfully do the last gaming news we have is over black myth wukong now this game gives me huge demon soul vibes um as you're you know playing as the <laughs> the mythical wukong and I'm just gonna say this my favorite my favorite character is wukong league play wukong it's anything i will play wukong i am just a huge fan even if he isn't the strongest so i can't wait to play this game and just get more of the story of wukong or however they you know try to twist it into the narrative of the game um, you know, from, from what it looks like, it's, you know, strictly solo player. Um, but I wonder if it's going to be more combat based or more story based. Uh, I, I, I honestly just can't wait. It's given me really good vibes and I can't wait to see the interface. Once we get into the game, how the can, how the character interacts, some more of that gameplay feature. Um, you know, we saw some of his attack but is there more to come is there more to see with everything wukong i cannot wait last but not least we have more news over twitch now this isn't really huge news but it's something that i think needs to be brought to the table so a lot of twitch streamers content creators are going to hold a blackout on september 1st this is all in support of the hate raid, hate raids that we've been seeing. Um, and it's, it's honestly sad to say that it's come this far. I'm truthfully waiting for Twitch's response. How do they feel about the hate raids? What are they doing to make sure they don't happen? If you guys need a little update on what the hate raids really are, people are buying bots and sending them into you know people's challenges through the raid feature and these bots are made to where they're going to say hateful speech or they have you know these anti-semitic um racial slurred names 
it's just a big mess and it's not needed, especially in today's society. So I think that this blackout is going to be a huge step moving forward. And it's, it's honestly going to have to grab Twitch's, you know, response because, you know, we've seen how Twitch is related to other events, but so far nothing on hate raids. So I can't wait to see more on this. I truthfully do support all of the streamers that are going to participate in this, but that that's it for this week's weekly roundup. Make sure you guys like all of our comp our content comment you, you can find us on youtube twitch tiktok twitter instagram make sure you guys follow make sure you guys subscribe like our content share it all you want i'm miracle worker and i can't wait to see you guys next week